What's up everyone, it's your man LD, Larry Dawson, and I'm here to tell you about my new series, My Legacy. It is a 10 part series. Each episode will be focusing on one particular topic. These topics are life changing topics. You are not going to want to miss these discussions. Tune in each week for a new episode. Don't miss it. My Legacy. What's up everyone, it's your man LD Larry Dawson and we're back for the next episode of My Legacy. This episode is struggle. I'm gonna break down how struggle can affect everybody. It doesn't matter where you're from, how much money you have, what religion or what color you are. Struggle shows no favoritism and it can hit anybody at any time for a multitude of different reasons. Let me start off by telling you the story of a young man that came from poverty, he came from nothing. He came from a one parent home and that one parent struggled to put food on the table, struggled to put clothes on his back. He was always at a disadvantage. He used to have to get his clothes from the Salvation Army, from Goodwill, and from churches. When holidays came around, they used to have to get donations from other family members and churches just to put food on the table. He remembered struggling at school and seeing these other kids with all these nice clothes, why he wore all these hand-me-downs. He even struggled to eat at school because he couldn't afford to pay for school lunches. Something clicked in this young man one day amongst all this struggle though and realized that he could use his brain and his intelligence as a way out of this struggle. So he poured himself into his education and expanding his mind and the limitless areas of where you can take yourself when you do that. This young man ended up graduating high school a year early and going off to college. In college, he completed his degree and became a doctor. But all throughout this, this man had to struggle and fight for every single thing that he was ever given in life. He never forgot that struggle and even when he made it to the highest level and became a renowned doctor in the area that he was from, he opened up a free clinic and he started to give back to the people that were out there going through the same struggle as him by doing free clinics, doing free checkups, giving out free flu shots, trying to help because this young man knew what it was like to come from the struggle where other people didn't. So much stuff that people take for granted on an everyday basis, coming from a good family, coming from a two parent home, you know, being able to pay for school lunch, having clothes on your back and doing certain things. This young man knew what it was like not to have these things. He understood the struggle and that there was other people out there that also had this struggle. Let me tell you about another story. This is about a story about five family members, a mother, a father, two brothers, and a sister. They was in a plane, and the father, of the, the father was driving the plane, and they ran into some problems, and the plane crashed. The mother, the father, they both died. The oldest brother, he died. The only survivors in this crash was the middle brother and the youngest sister. They were both pretty hurt, and they were in the hospital. Imagine the pain and the struggle of knowing that your world just got destroyed. Your parents both died just like that. Your older brother just like that. And now you're left as the, the head of the family. And so you find yourself in a situation where you can let the struggle destroy you and crumble or you can rise above. Well, this young man chose to rise above. He wanted his family name to live on and he knew it was up to him at this point that he had to be the man of the family. He helped to raise his sister and now this young man is actually a professional baseball player and his sister is actually doing really well too. They didn't let the struggle um, destroy them. They rose above the struggle. So, you know, struggle hits in a lot of different ways. I just gave you two scenarios of, of completely different uh, obstacles life that could throw at you but struggle can mean a lot of other things there's people out there that struggle with alcohol addiction there's people out there that struggle with drug addiction there's people out there that struggle with sex addiction addiction there's people out there that struggle with um, mental disabilities and one of the things our society does people that have mental disabilities we like to put the stigma out there that um, they're not really sick or they don't really need help or we make light of it 
in reality, it's one of the most deadly things that's out there because you can't see it. It's in here. And most people will never understand that that don't go through that. So if you're struggling with any of those things, please know that there's other people out there that struggle with those same things. Even, you know, people come to me because I'm in the health and fitness field all the time and they deal with eating disorders and they struggle with, you know, their eating habits and the way that they eat. And to some people, that's a joke that you will laugh off. Well, why can't you just stop? For some people, it's not just that easy. Um, the struggle hits so many people in so many different ways. And a lot of times when struggle hits you in life, you'll resort to things like eating and drinking and doing drugs to, to try to drown out that pain for a temporary relief. But that's not the answer. The answer is to stop those things and get to the root of the problem and fix them for real. Um, a lot of people know my story and the different stuff that happened to me. But one of the areas of struggle that I think gets looked over a lot on my part is that even after I served my time, uh, I spent 13 years in prison, when I came home, I had all these ideas, I had put in all this time, a study, put in all this work, I had these ideas of these businesses that I wanted to open, these speeches that I wanted to give, the people that I wanted to help, um, the fitness stuff that I wanted to do, the promotion stuff that I wanted to do, but all that has to start somewhere and no one wanted to give me an opportunity. Matter of fact, not only did they not want to give me an opportunity, people actually went out of their way to try to make sure I didn't have any opportunities, to shut doors in my face. Every time I would try to take a step forward, someone would try to push me two steps backwards. Um, I applied for over 70 jobs and didn't get a single hit on any of those. Um, luckily, I was given two opportunities by someone that I knew in the past and someone that I just met and by conversation gave me, a, gave me another opportunity. I took those two opportunities and other free time I had and used those two opportunities to build up what I was trying to do along with doing stuff for free in my spare time. But the struggle of trying to just get an inch when no one wants to give you anything and people just want to hold your past against you and keep you down and, and you know, not even let you breathe. Um, struggle is out there for everyone. So no matter what you're going through out there, know you're not alone. You know, I know people, I do a lot of counseling that were molested when they were kids. I was molested myself. And it's surprising to me how many people as adults now are still battling with what happened to them as a kid and actually have never even talked about it. They've held it in and let it eat them from the inside out like a cancer. And it's affected their life all the way now, all the decisions they made, because they never came to peace with it. They never allowed themselves to heal and forgive that person and forgive themselves and move on from that situation. So, you know, whether you're struggling with alcohol abuse, a mental illness, an eating disorder, bad stuff that happened to you when you was a kid, a dramatic tragedy that life might have, you know, sent you away, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And struggle is real and it is everywhere, but you can overcome that struggle. It takes effort, time, forgiveness, understanding, but if you're willing to do that and not run from the problem and not drown yourself in the problem, you can overcome that struggle. Um, guys, when you watch this video, please understand that there's people out there that are going through the same things and it can help you. So if there's ever anything that anybody needs or you feel like you can't talk to anyone, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to so many other people. There are people out there that do understand and would be willing to help you. So know you're not alone in the struggle and know the struggle is real and it is everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was another episode of My Legacy. Until next time, guys, I'm out.